Hi guys! So today I'm back with a really quick video, hopefully. I have noticed that many of you actually enjoy my videos about literature, so I thought I would try to make them more often. I do them very often in French because it's so much easier, obviously, for me to talk about literature in French, as comfortable as I might feel in English. It's still a bit difficult to talk about such a specific and very precise subject in another language. Um, but I am gonna try and do more of them. They're really time-consuming and they're really... They're kind of difficult to make, I have to say, especially in English. So that's why I am gonna start this video with telling you about my Patreon. Why? Because making videos takes a long time. Making videos, it's a bit of an investment of time and money and energy. So if you feel like you can and want to spare one dollar a month, uh, to support the channel, it would really help and help me make more of these videos that need more time to research, to be scripted and yeah, but if not, that's completely fine. just wanted to make sure I got that out of the way. So those are four books that you probably haven't read in French. Um, I mean, not necessarily in French, you can read them translated. I would actually suggest reading them translated unless you're kind of fluent in French. But uh, they're French, they're very beautiful, and I'm sure that you haven't read them. So the first one is actually by an author that you probably know. It's Albert Camus. He's very well famous. Very well famous. It's very well known, very famous. He's actually one of the French authors that's... I think um, the most known by foreigners, whenever I talk about my about literature with my students, most of them know Sartre and Camus. Uh, so Camus is a recent author from the 20th century. He has written different things. He has written um, books that are autobiographical. He has written a little um, novellas, I would say, very famous, The Stranger being the one that most people have read. And I am coming to you today with the Le Mythe de Sisyphe. So all titles are going to be translated down below. So this book is highly interesting. It is not a fiction book. It's not a novel nor a novella. It's more like a um, thought process on absurd, um, the meaning of life. But I find a bit mm, with Camus that very often for me personally I find this book his books and his works kind of depressing not very um yeah not very I don't want to say positive but kind of depressing you know the whole thing about absurd and the same thing with Sartre about nihilism and stuff to me I don't really resonate with that I find it very pessimistic very um just empty of any sort of life and purpose and just positive outlook on the future. I find that this book is kind of different. It's very enlightening, um, very positive. Even though we talk about the meaning of life, even though we talk about absurd, it's also very empowering and gives you a lot of trust in a way in life and the future. So I would highly suggest reading that, especially if you've read The Stranger by Camus. Whether you've liked it or whether you haven't liked it, I'm on the team. I did not really enjoy it that much. I did enjoy the book, so yeah. Second book I want to talk about in this video is this one by Colette. So Colette was a French uh, female author uh, of the 19th century. Uh, she was born in, nine, in 1873 and she died in 1954. So she was like 19th and 20th century. She has written extensively about nature, about um, very personal daily life. Her writing is very... Um, um, very personal, very sensitive, very much uh, focused on sensations and feelings. I like it a lot. It's kind of sensual in a way, in many ways actually. And this is Cido Suivi des Vries de la Vigne. Cido is very interesting. Um, she talks about her beloved mother and uh, she talks about the memory she has of her mother. A lot of the work of Colette is actually kind of autobiographical, so it's always very personal, very deep and very strong. I like her writing style, it's not necessarily what I like the most personally, let's say, compared to surrealism or even compared to Flaubert or um, some authors of the 19th century or, or symbolism as well, for example, but I find it very interesting and I find it very um, 
alive if that makes any sense and I think she's not super well known outside of France so I really want to put her in the video okay so the third book is actually my favorite probably it's called La Confession d'un enfant du siècle and it was written by Alfred de Musset in 1834 actually um, it is very different from the three other books that are mentioned in this video um, the three other books are a bit more modern, um, very different and are perhaps not considered as classics in French literature. This one, however, is a classic and it's older. Um, I personally love this book. It is the story inspired or said to be inspired by the relationship between Alfred de Musset and Georges Sand, who was also a French female author that I highly suggest as well. Um, it is a book that's you know, obviously dealing with um, a disappointed love, loss, and the realization that life is not as great as it seems to be when you're young. Um, it's kind of pessimistic in a way, but it's beautifully written. It's very, very precise and delicate with the psychology of the characters. I also was very impressed by some extracts and some parts of the book that were kind of feminist in my opinion. It was a very good discovery. I read this book quite late, quite late actually, maybe about two years ago or something, uh, which is kind of strange because that's exactly the kind of book that I like. Um, it's just beautiful, beautiful literature, beautiful French literature of the 19th century. What can I say? And the last, uh, last but not least, Story of the Eye by Georges Bataille. So very different from the three other books. This one is modern. This one is not for the faint-hearted. If you're not someone who likes to read about sex, about violence, if you're very sensitive, skip it. But if you're someone who likes to read things that are different, things that are shocking and thought-provoking, if you want something that's going to put you outside of your comfort zone, this is the book for you. Bataille is actually quite well known in France, especially in the university, like, um, yeah, I think the, the literary uh, world at uni um, often relies on Bataille because he has a very specific vision of literature, which is an experience and a transgression, like uh, going beyond the limits. So the story of the eye is a story of two young people who have very special sexual fantasies and they're living them fully even if that means being violent and doing things that are not really good things to do but it's um it's just a really strange novella it's a very um deep one it has very different layers and um if you're someone who can handle some violence some sex i would highly suggest reading it it's very short as well so it's a very quick read but you know this book i believe needs several reads and perhaps um to read other books or other works by bataille or maybe critics of bataille i think to enlighten and make it more understandable so yeah i hope you enjoy watching this very short and this very quick video with some very different recommendations uh, feel free to let me know if you'd like to see more of those videos in the future and yeah i'll talk to you soon